All right, for this job, you're going to need Toyota LF or equivalent fluid. In this case, it's Redline MTLV. Two washers for the drain and fill plug, 24 millimeter socket, torque wrench, breaker bar, fluid fill pump or syringe, and a drain pan. So like I said before, I went with a Redline MTLV. I've had good luck with Redline in the past, so I decided to go with it for this application. In the owner's manual, it specifies Toyota Genuine Transfer Gear Oil LF or equivalent. So I went to Redline's website and double checked that this fluid is the equivalent, and it is. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your vehicle is nice and level. Then you wanna get underneath your vehicle and identify the fill and the drain plugs. The fill is gonna be on top, and the drain on the bottom. Then take your 24 millimeter socket and breaker bar and loosen the fill plug first. Once you remove the fill plug, it's now time to remove the drain plug. Make sure you have your oil drain pan in place before you completely take out the plug. Once the transfer case is drained completely, it's now time to put the plug back in with a new washer. Using a torque wrench and 24 millimeter socket, it's now time to tighten it down. Tighten it to 27 pound feet. Then to fill the transfer case, you can either use a fluid transfer pump or a syringe. I decided to use this two ounce syringe, that way I have an idea of how much I've put in the transfer case. With that being said, it's much easier to use a fluid transfer pump. My vehicle is a full time four wheel drive model, so in the manual it specifies 1.5 quarts. So in this case, I had to do 24 pumps at two ounces a piece to fill the transfer case. Here's the last one going in and you can see once the transfer case is full, it'll start dribbling out the fill hole. Next thing you're going to want to do is put the fill plug back in with the new crush washer and tighten it down to 27 pound feet. Then the last thing I do with any job like this is hit it with a little brake clean, take it for a short drive and make sure nothing's leaking. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and check out my other car maintenance videos. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.